At 11 now, a family nearly loses their child after finding the toddler unresponsive in the pool, all of their safety precautions failing. ABC Action News reporter Julie Solomon with the paramedics who worked to get that child breathing again. Lieutenant Jared Carlson, a paramedic firefighter, responds to a near drowning call, a child found unresponsive in the family's pool. The dad, who performs CPR, rushes over to paramedics as soon as they arrive. But when he stood up with the child, I knew that uh, something was wrong. Um, the color was purple and blue and didn't appear to be breathing. Eastlake Fire Rescue sharing the story on Facebook, saying the family was getting ready for a birthday party. They took down the safety fence around the pool. They had an alarm on the door leading to the pool, but the door was left open. And this just goes to show you that even when, it, when you're prepared for everything, just one little lapse and just not paying attention, uh, can cause cost someone their life. The child later becoming responsive in the ambulance. Lieutenant Carlson used a device called a bag valve mask on the child beforehand. So this runs to our oxygen tank and this goes right over the mouth and the nose and you seal it. Fire Rescue reminding parents nothing replaces supervision. You want to have your child within arm's reach whether they know how to swim or not. You know, the child that we were dealing with, they actually took swimming lessons. The family recently stopped by the fire station here so paramedics could reunite with the child they saved. Reporting in Tarpon Springs, Julie Salmon, ABC Action News.